Have you ever sat in front of an empty silent DAW, synth, drum machine or whatever your favorite gear is to start the track and you really felt no inspiration at all? If yes, welcome to the club. This video is for you. I want to share a technique that I recently used to spark some inspiration using another track but without actually copying or remaking one, right? Hey friends, Ron here from roughinstudio.com. So before I start, I want to paint the picture quickly. So personal story here from me. So I spent one week with my family on vacation and I wanted to bring my MacBook with me, which is a very old machine. So I took my old laptop plus my Electron model cycles with me, right? So my main goal was to produce a track or at least a starting idea for a track with my Electron cycles because that's my most portable piece of gear that I have right now, right? Because my main working station is my iMac and I'm using all my plugins and tools that I normally use for my tracks are installed over there and I didn't really want to transform everything just for the vacation to my MacBook, right? So I thought let's just take the Electron machine and my MacBook and use some samples that I already have on my laptop and use those, right? So kind of limiting myself to those tools. Anyway, so I sat down one evening and then I um, opened up that Electron machine and it was kind of a blank slate, state, screen, whatever, blank, slate, table, blank, whatever it is. And I felt really uninspired, right? So I had no direction, what should I do right now, where should I start? So what I came up with was using another track from Jesku and Arapu as kind of an inspiration, right? And my goal was not really to copy or remake it, but just use it as kind of a framework system, listening closely to it and then um, making some notes and create my very own version out of it, right? So for this video, I wanted to share the process behind it and I hope you find some inspiration for your very own track whenever you feel similar to make a track in front of a blank screen, right? You, you hear my kid, it's lying next to it, so I need to jump over quickly. So yeah, and then later on, let's move over to Ableton. <clears throat> Again, this is my older Mac, so don't worry if the audio sounds a little bit different. I have uh, another mic here, but yeah, anyway, I think it does the job for now. Anyway, so the main idea, the main concept really was um, find a track that I like or that you like and the second one core concept is li really listening for some main elements some main attributes inside the track and using those as inspiration right and then the third step would be describing the main elements with some adjectives or attributes you know and i have some five main elements that i could think of and some examples of those are maybe the overall vibe of a track, right? Maybe is it dark, is it uh, happy, is it trippy, is it warm, is it cold, is it sunny, is it rainy? <coughs> it sounds maybe stupid, but I think it doesn't really matter if it, if it sounds stupid or not, you know? As long as you know how sunny or rainy a rainy track sounds to you, then you know it, you know? You don't need to explain it to someone else. It just needs to spark some inspiration and needs to get the job done. So it doesn't really matter what, how or what the attributes are that you describe, right? Then the second main element that I could think of um, or category is sound elements, right? So specific sound elements like maybe drums, how are the drums, maybe bass line, what effects are in there, some trippy percussions maybe, some blips and blobs, whatever, then maybe vocals, are there any vocals in it, how are the vocals, are they trippy, um, the mood again, right, and then some synths, pad sounds, basically everything, you know, about the sound elements, right. Another important thing that I could think of, of those main elements or what I call track driver specifics, you know, track driver for me are 
things that actually give the overall vibe or mood to the track, right? For example, or or drives the track kind of the main element or what gives the groove to this specific track. So this could be hi-hats, maybe bass lines, vocal maybe, the groove itself and so on, right? So I would think of uh, specific elements of the track, of a track that would drive that track, right? And this doesn't really need to be the main element, just something that really moves the track, you know, really gives the groove and drives it, right? Then the, what is it, fourth element? I don't know, I guess so. Yeah, the fourth element is rhythm. How's the swing? Is it um, the, is the clap maybe straight, very straight? Is, it, is the beat very stiff? Is it more groovy, more laid back maybe? And sometimes this is really hard to find out, right? But um, just give it a, a little bit of a listen. Maybe you find out some nuances here and there and then write it down, right? So just, again, this needs to be a little framework, a little template that we can use to spark some inspiration. We don't really aim for a replication or whatever, right? Then I maybe listen to the hi-hats, or the hi-hats driving, or loosen, or whatever it is, right? And of course, what is the, the rhythm of the track? Is it the four to the floor track? Is it the more break beat? Is it whatever it is, right? Is the kick straight or has it some fillers in it, some what I call double kicks now and then and uh, how is the kick itself, right? Is it long or is it shorter? But this is again more in the sound element section, right? How are they? How is the kick played? Is it longer, decay, sustain and also the bass line, right? Is it short and fast or is it less notes but longer played notes? and so on, right? And this also can give track a certain vibe or mood, right, in my opinion. And the fifth element, in my opinion, is a rough structure of the arrangement. So I would listen to, to the whole track and then just get an overall picture of the rough structure of the track. And I don't really go in depth of analyzing it, but just to get an idea of what kind of elements I would probably need. And again, just using it as an inspiration, right? What happens during the break, maybe? Is there a new element introduced? And so on, right? Now, let's get a little bit uh, practical here. This is a sketch, you know. I just banged out some basic uh, arrangements here. And let's listen first to the preference track that I was using from Arapu and Jesku. Right, so now let's go back to my version of it and again, yeah, just play it. You know. This 
these elements really for after the break maybe to bring in a new element or during the break maybe maybe it can add some effects and again this is a rough sketch it's not really arranged yet but uh, it's an idea Here are some bongo stuff that I heard in the track before. You heard it probably in the beginning, right? They really drive the track. Yeah, you get the idea, right? Now, let's quickly go over and see what I or how I described the track from Arapu and Cescu. Basically, I, list, I took a couple of listens and then I just wrote down pen and paper, really simple. Some attributes that I thought um, drives the track, right? Like I described before, right? Before the, the main elements, right? So, for example, BPM. Uh, 126 to 127 it's probably a little bit less after listening it doesn't really matter you know for this track I think it works better um, with 127 then I have wrote down warm road snippet I don't know if it's a road but this is the, that warmer sound you know um, again it doesn't really matter you know I know what I mean with warm road snippet um, then I have some 909 kind of sounds, kick and clap. Then I can hear some mid bass 303 kind of thing inside the track. Right? But I didn't really use that in my track. Then some weird effects, something distorted, I heard somewhere. Then weird walk strippy during break, longer notes. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I can't really read my notes here. Then nosy fills, percussion, fast groovy, reverb. Then I heard some uh, vinyl sound crack fillers in the background. In the very beginning. Then clap has a kind of reverb and delay. That was what I also heard. Then we have straight hats, we have off hats, you know. And I also thought I heard that the second clap was laid back a little bit. Maybe it's also the delay or the reverb, what it is. And uh, yeah, then I described the overall vibe, fast groovy, sub bass is a little bit longer holding, longer played, uh, warm and trippy. The vocal is some kind of trippy, but then this uh, road sound snippet, what it is, gives a little bit warmer sound. And the percussion, you know, the bongos that uh, we could hear in the very beginning. Mm. 
here we can really hear the bass. Let's quickly have a listen here to my bass. So yeah, and then I really, as soon as I had this description, this template, I went over and worked on it, you know, I created the bass line, then the kick, then uh, some effects and whatever, and it really served as a guide, you know, and then I searched for a vocal that is a little bit trippy, Eastern Europe, I don't know, and uh, yeah, and that was, was, was what I came up with. Um, does it sound similar? Is the vibe maybe some kind of goes? Is it going into the similar direction? I would say so a little bit, but it's not a replication, a duplication of it. But it's certainly inspired by the other track from Arapu and Chesco, I would say, right? Okay, let's sum it up quickly. So yeah, again, with, with this concept, we are not trying to copy or remake a track, but rather to spark some inspiration to start a track maybe in a similar vibe or in a similar di direction like our initial reference track. And yes, oftentimes we think we need to be 100% original, but as a little example here, a lot of great artists has actually been inspired by someone else's work, right? Right? For example, the Beatles were inspired by other bands or even Elvis Presley was inspired by a singer that he recorded with in the same studio like he did and adapted some stuff from him and made his own version out of it, right? So yeah, with this little technique, I think you have something in your toolkit that you can use every time you feel uninspired to write music, right? So we actually don't have any excuse anymore to not sit down and make some music, right? And again, don't put any pressure on yourself by thinking or even comparing yourself to the reference track, right? I think it's okay if it's not similar or if it sounds different. In the end, we do it out of fun and we learn something new from every track that we do, even from the worst tracks. So please do me a favor and don't put any pressure on yourself if the track doesn't sound like the one you initially were inspired by. And maybe as a little challenge, just write down your template and then don't listen back to that track again. Um, maybe just listen back if when your track is finished, right? And then compare it maybe. And then you actually see the difference, you know? You see your creativity against the other one, against the reference track. And it's okay to sound different, right? Because you're, you are different, you are a different person, your creativity is different and so on, right? Your taste is different. So really just use this guide here as a little template to spark some inspiration and kick off a new track whenever you feel uninspired, right? Now, if you need some guidance or a starting point whenever you feel uninspired, maybe you want to download my softbot Snappy Romanimal Ableton Live kick template. It's always good to have at least something in place. So maybe it's the kick and then a bass and then it maybe flows, right? So if you want to download it, it's for free. Just click the link below and then you can download, download it for free. Thanks again for your time. It means a lot. See you in another week's video. Cheers.